Thank you very much, Andrea. Okay, um, thank you very much. My name is Magni, and this is Sebastian, and we are uh, co-leading the event called Star Weekend Space. So, Star Weekend Space is a very, very intense event happening in Bremen on the 10th to the 12th of April. And our intention is to kickstart the new space era here in Europe. So, before we delve into the details of what this is, I want to give you a quick overview of what we try to solve. Um, so, as you know, there is a movement going on. There's a bit of a wave, especially in the US. So there's a lot of new startups coming and disrupting the market, doing things completely different from how things are done here in Europe and the rest of the world. We have Made in Space doing 3D printing in space. We have Plan Labs creating satellites out of a garage and mass producing them in droves. We have SpaceX disrupting the whole um, launch vehicle market now in the US. Uh, but Europe, uh, it's not much happening. You have basically three companies that we identify. We have S3 in Switzerland, Copenhagen Suborbital, and Luna Mission One. Uh, and only one of them are a true for-profit company. So why, so what we are trying to do is trying to get this movement happening here in Europe as well. And in order to do that, our solution to that is Star Weekend Space. So. Uh, in Europe, we have currently what's called the business incubation centers run by the European Space Agency. So this focuses mostly on downstream applications, so use of satellite data and building apps uh, in order to solve problems on Earth. What we are trying to do is we are also trying to complement that by doing upstream. We want to create satellites, we want to create um, rockets, we want to bring hardware to space. This is really hard. Currently, in Europe, Doing that requires a lot of money, but we're seeing in the US that that does not have to be the case. You can create satellites in a garage and launch it within the months. So we want to bring some of this agile um, technology development, this agile operation and processes to Europe. And the best way of doing that is through usually what's uh, entrepreneurship and startups that bring innovation to the sector. So our event will consists of 31 invited guests from all over Europe. We'll bring um, investors, we'll bring technical experts, we'll bring managers and CEOs from all over Europe to join the event and help the participants, 80 participants, run through their ideas and create space companies within one week, within 60 hours. And we divide these 80 participants into, three, into 10 different teams. So, and everything is gonna happen within the 60 hours. It's gonna be nonstop action for 60 hours straight. Uh, we had the venue open throughout the night for people to work in. And Sebastian's gonna now tell you a bit in detail about how this event's gonna unfold. Okay, so uh, the important thing that we are also trying to do is um, we're trying to open up the uh, space sector not only to engineers, but uh, as you saw on the slide before, we're, we're trying to bring in ideas also from the outside. So people, you don't have to be, um, as an engineer to become a rocket scientist or actually a space entrepreneur. Uh, uh, we believe everyone can be a space entrepreneur. Um, so, and the way the, the event will happen, we have a whole weekend, 60 hours. So first, you have the Friday to learn about space. So we get everyone basically on the same baseline um, to, to learn what is happening, to, to get an idea about the industry, uh, and then develop some ideas and later in the evening, we basically start the pitching session. So everyone gets a chance, you get a minute to pitch your idea to the audience, uh, create a poster and try and uh, win everyone uh, over for your idea. There's gonna be a vote and the 10 best ideas uh, get chosen to be worked on over the entire weekend, over the 60 hours. Uh, then among the 80 participants, you basically choose the people to become members of your team. You form different teams and you basically work your ass off the entire weekend to, to get your business concept going. And at the end, you have a business case, hopefully. <laughs> uh, and that business case, you're gonna present, uh, uh, you're gonna uh, create uh, uh, the business case using a, a business canvas to basically demonstrate what your value prep proposition is. So what is the product? What are you gonna invoice uh, to your customer? Um, and where's gonna be your market, who are gonna be your partners to, to develop uh, your, your business case with. 
uh, and eventually to present that uh, business case to, to um, a judging panel. Uh, so we have five judges that will, um, I think it's five minutes, right? That we have six minutes. So six minutes of tough questions that you will basically have to live through to then get a chance to win one of the three wonderful prizes that we, we have uh, um, available uh, as, as part of the um, Startup Weekend space. What you need to basically prove is your business case. You need to prove that the, the, if you have a technical concept that it's going to hold true, uh, that there's going to be a, a market for it. But ultimately, it's really about ideas. That's the main thing. We're, we're trying to generate as many ideas as possible uh, that then have the chance to then be worked over after the event into a real company. Um, the main prize, which we think is, is, is amazing, uh, is uh, one year of mentorship by uh, Claudia Kessler from HE Space uh, and the opportunity to, to uh, pitch your idea to the Space Angels Network, uh, the investors of the Space Angels Network, and really to get a chance to not only have come out with an idea, but really to, to come out with a proper company and a team that's going to work uh, in the company and who knows, uh, to have a yeah, a, a sustainable business model that's going to uh, outlive basically the, the startup weekend space. Um. So the main idea, you two can start a wave, and that we firmly believe that. Um, and remember this, uh, I, I personally believe, I, I'm, I'm already managing my own company, but I firmly believe if you haven't tried to build a startup, uh, and at least tried to build one once in your life, you'll regret it. <laughs> so be part of it. We want you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Are there any questions? We have, uh, right now it's about 61 participants, 62 participants, so there's still some, uh, the possibility to get the ticket. So, um, yeah. Uh, uh, I think we have flyers everywhere um, about the Startup Weekend space, so uh, look at the website and uh, join, the, yeah, join the event. Well, uh, I mean, we both, we, we went to ISU last summer and we were, um, uh, we were amazed about what is happening in the US and we were kind of sad that nothing is really happening here. And we have all the means now to, to do stuff at home, right? So we, can, we have 3D printers, so there's a lot, uh, a lot of things are possible. Uh, and when I look at the initiatives coming out of uh, Google Luna X Prize, I've met some people that are actually building stuff uh, that will fly to the moon. Uh, it's amazing. It's all done in, you know, at home in small uh, offices. And we, what we've tried to do there is uh, create, let's say, the environment for um, for everyone to just become creative and create a concept, create an idea. So we will have three D printers. We will have Arduino boards. We will have Raspberry Pis. We will have uh, Mat MATLAB licenses. So you have the opportunity over the entire weekend to just go mental. Uh, and that's uh, that's what we're trying to do. In terms of sponsorship, um, uh, yeah, we, <laughs> uh, we we have approached uh, many people. Um, we've approached ESA, so they they're supporting us. Uh, one of the prizes will be uh, uh, given by ESA. Uh, we have Airbus on board. Uh, uh, we're working on OHB. Uh, <laughs> we're proving a bit difficult. Um, we have. Uh, space catapult and then we we have really the city of Bremen that was very supportive of the, of the idea and that uh, we're, we're very happy that we approached them to to do this thing in Bremen so yeah. 
So uh, we have three different ticket types. We have the engineer and science tickets, we have the non-engineer, non-science tickets, and then we had the designers, the creative people. Uh, we split them up into different uh, ratios. So currently we have about 45 technical people. So that includes sciences, engineering, and uh, this lot. And then we have about, I think, 14, 15, um, yeah, non-engineers, non-scientists, and then we're expecting about 10 designers and creative people. So it's a very mixed group of people. And I think the best ideas come when you bring together these interdisciplinary aspects of the group. Definitely, um, we're gonna have to have very short questions, but you can continue questions for the other coffee times and uh, during tonight's dinner as well. Um, we're gonna move to the next presentation, but thank you very, very much. Uh, if I can grab that one, thank you. Uh, so we're gonna move on to the crew perspective.